All right, so right now you're looking at everything that comes inside the box. There's nothing more. Here's the controller that you get with this. So this is your standard controller. There's nothing special about it. Well, PlayStation 5 controller is special itself, but I'm just saying there's nothing different between this one that you would get in the digital version of your PlayStation or the disc version. If you're wondering what the difference is between a disc version or a digital version, it's just that you have a disc in one and the other one doesn't. That's it. That's all the differences. Anyways, let's just take a look at the cables that you get. These are my HDMI cables that you get with your PlayStation 5. So here we go. Again, these are the cables, the HDMI cable that you get with your PlayStation 5. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit of the writing on the cable itself. I know a lot of people were asking me just to show you just the cable because they wanted to see all the info about the cable itself. So here's all the writing on it. Basically just has high speed HDMI cable and some numbers and there's some numbers up here as well. So right here, so you can see this is the original one. This one though is the one that you get with your PlayStation. Uh, here's how the ends look like. So once again, this is just HDMI, which is something that's hooked up to your PlayStation and then to your TV or monitor. You also get this power cable. So this is exactly that, just to hook it up to your PlayStation so it can actually power on. Now this one's a little bit more basic. Well, very basic actually. So right here, you can see it. It's just your standard cable. This is the one that you get. Let me just zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see what we're getting here. But again, this is just your power cable and that's the cable that you get with your PlayStation 5. We're just gonna leave this on the side for now. And this right here is a USB-C cable that we also get with your PlayStation. So here it is. So you can see it's a regular USB to USB-C. So this is the USB-C cable that you get with this. And this is for your controller, actually. Well, you can use it with your controller, I should say, because you can use it with other things as well. And this will go plugged in right here. Then you can hook this up to your PlayStation. This is the way to charge it up. So that's why you get this cable with it. And you also get this quick start, which uh, you will need if you're watching my setup video, but it's actually extremely easy. They made it really simple to set up. Well, I want to mention that you do get this in several languages. Well, it depends actually. So again, this is the English part and there's several languages from there. And this right here is just for vertical position. So right here, you guys can see where the hook is and everything. So again, you're going to use this if you're putting this at a vertical or horizontal position. You don't want to leave it like I have it right now lying down. But anyways, that's in the setup video, but this is what you get as well for the positioning. So let me just show you all the way around this thing right here. You can see the back and all the way around it. So this is the one that you get with your PlayStation 5. Let's just put it on the side. You also get this booklet, which is just a safety guide. Again, it's something that's worth keeping just on the side. Anyways, before we keep going, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the controller. Let's just take a look at everywhere. Now, the only port that you're gonna see is this right here. Now, this port is where your USB-C is gonna go. That's to charge it up and yeah, to sync it up as well. Anyways, down here below, you're not gonna see anything. There's gonna be something here as well. Now, you're also gonna see this port right here and around it, there's nothing else. That's it, it's a really basic, simple control. It's a little bit heavier maybe than what you're used to, but other than that, it looks really awesome, as you guys can see. But as far as the controller goes, that's it. That's the controller that you get with your PlayStation. Now let's look at the ports that you get in your PlayStation. So first of all, that's your power. HDMI, this is for your LAN, if you guys wanna hook it up that way. Uh, Ethernet is always gonna be, well, almost always gonna be way faster than Wi-Fi. Here you have USB ports. If you look up, there's nothing more. You can turn this around. And on this side, you're gonna see this port as well. And if I can zoom in a little bit better, here you go, you can see the other ports. Really small, so it's hard to see. But that's it, that's the ports that you get in your PlayStation 5. Now let's take a deeper look at it. So here is the bottom of the PlayStation 5. That's all the information that you guys are gonna see down here. And there's this right here where there's some, this is where you can attach the screw. So I'll show you that in the setup video, but yeah, 
That's what that is. It's not an actual button. There's nothing more to show you around the PlayStation. That's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.